Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at dryfireonline.com. So dryfireonline.com is another way to do dry fire training. It gives you a lot of good options as far as targets that you can use. I think uh, if I remember right, it said there's like 80 different targets uh, that you can use when you're setting up your shooting range. And it's got several different backgrounds that you can choose from. Uh, you can see the one that's kind of there right now in the, the background of the screen, and it is a big warehouse. You've also got Yellowstone uh, National Park, and then I think there's a couple other ones on there, and then there's just some solid color screens on there as well. So you've got a lot of different options to be able to set up your targets and set up a shooting range however you want to when you're shooting. Now, it's got a couple of different ways that you can use the program. If you just want the free version and you don't want to subscribe to the website, then you just go to dryfireonline.com and it will allow you to shoot at the targets. You can set up your shooting range, but you're not going to get any feedback as far as where the shots are hitting on the screen. You'll see your laser hitting it, but you won't be able to get any feedback from the computer or from the TV or anything while you're shooting. Now, they also have subscription so that you can get the app, and there's three different levels that you can get, beginner, intermediate, and expert, and it just, the difference between the three is the cost of the subscription, of course, and then the amount of targets and the different activities that you can do within the training simulation. Now, so with the app, you can set it up and it will register your hits on the screen. It's like some of the other uh, dry fire training programs that are out there. The camera on your phone or your tablet picks up the laser hits on the target and it records it on the screen. So it it ties in with the computer. You actually have to connect the app to the computer through the, through the website, and it, I'll show you how to do that uh, in just a second, but it gives you a code to type into your app so that everything is connected and it works together. Now, you've got several different ways to, uh, like I said, to subscribe to it, and we have a code that you can get an extended free trial session on that and we'll have that code down at the in the description at the bottom but it's very easy to remember if you can remember the name of our company double legal gunworks that's your code and it will get you instead of the one week free trial it will get you a month free trial so you can check it out see how you like it and then if you don't like it then you don't you hadn't spent any money on it but you've got the the three different levels that it will allow you to register through, and it's a pretty nice website. It's got a lot of uh, good things on it, and with the app, a lot of good training that you're able to do as well. So let's take a look at it, and I'll show you what you've got. When it first comes up, it's going to look like that, uh, and then it says it uses cookies, so you got to accept that. And then as you go down through it, it's got a couple of videos that tell you about what the program is and how everything works. Uh, you can get the um, free trial and it talks about each one of the, the different things that you can do. And it's got a lot of different targets that you can shoot at to set up your, your range. And this is the background here. Is, uh, this is the warehouse uh, background. The one thing I found on some of these backgrounds is if you're shooting in this one and you're shooting white targets, it's a little bit harder to see. So make sure that you don't have a white target uh, when you're using the warehouse background. Um, so there's a lot of different things there and it talks about the, the price there for the beginner. It's $1.99 and this is per month, uh, not a one-time fee. This is a, a monthly subscription. And you've got all these different types of targets that you can use. And then it's got a quick start and a stage builder so that you can just get started right away with it and use some pre-configured drills or you can build your own how, however you want it to set up. And 
they recommend either like a smart TV or a projector onto a flat wall as the best way to train with the, the program because the you want as, as big of a, a screen up there as you can get so that the targets can expand and get to the, um, the setting that you, you want for them. I'll show you in just a second what happens if you set the screen to where all the targets aren't going to fit exactly the way they think that it's going to, then it'll put a warning up there and you can either go back and change your settings or you can try it and see what it actually looks like. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just depends on how far you've got everything set up on your measurements. So let's go back and I'll show you what the quick start is. Quick start, you've got, you can pick the size of your screen and that's the diagonal size of your television screen. So I've got a, a 55 inch screen there and the screen distance, what that is, is the distance from where you're standing to the television. It's not the distance that you want for your target. So I'm standing about six feet away from the television, so I'm going to put two yards as my screen distance. And then shooter eye height is just where the middle of your eyes are from the floor. So I'm, I'm roughly six feet tall. So I'm, say I'm, eh, it's about five, five uh, to the, or five and a half feet to the center of my eyes. And then if you're using uh, like an AR or you're using a laser indicator that is offset from your barrel, then you can shift that point of impact using this XY coordinates here. Once you start shooting, you can figure out how much you need to adjust that so that the indicator on the screen actually hits where the bullet is. And then they've got just some ads here for different things. So this is what you can, can choose to just some, some of the starting ones that you can do. So you've got all these different scenarios that you can go through. There's a bunch of them there, and these are just ones that are automatically set up in the quick start program. So let's pick one of these and I'll show you how it works. Okay, well, let's, let's see what Fluffy's Revenge is. Oh, mercy. Uh, so I guess on this one, what you're looking at is you're, you don't need to hit the ones with the X on them and you do have to hit the ones without the X's. That's would be my guess. There's not a, uh, an explanation of how, of what the Fluffy's Revenge is supposed to be, but, uh, we'll, we'll try it and see what happens. And then you can choose whether or not you're going to have the gunshots or the beep or the, however you want to set that up. So we'll set it up with just the gunshot on there. And then you have to click that you've read their terms and use condition. And then when you hit start stage, it'll bring, it'll load everything up. And then if you're going to use in the app, you have to switch everything or you have to get everything set up on the, the camera app as well. And depending on your internet connection, ours is very slow out here, it will load faster with a better internet connection than, than what we have. Uh, we have very poor internet out here in the country. Okay, so right now down in the bottom of the screen, it shows you that the camera is connected and what subscription level you're at right now. And I wanna uh, thank Dry Fire Online for giving me the code to be able to go through this without actually having to subscribe to it myself. So they've uh, donated a, a subscription and letting me use it to try it out and uh, review it for them. So uh, I'm gonna disconnect it so I can show you how it actually connects. So you get your the app on there and you can go to the uh, 
the app store and find the app. It's not, not hard. And um, so to connect the camera, you hit connect. And it's going to ask you for that code that you see down in the bottom left corner of the screen. So you type in that code and then you hit connect. And it, okay, now it shows you that the camera's connected and what your subscription level is. And then to calibrate the screen, you've got to um, get to the next screen. And this is the one that uh, the warning screen that I was mentioning earlier that some targets may not actually fit onto the screen. So you can either go back and change your settings and try it or you can hit continue. So let's try this continue and see what they're going to do on this one. And then also make sure that your gun is unloaded if you're using a laser, laser cartridge uh, in your actual gun and you don't wind up shooting your television, which is not a, not a good thing to do. So it pulls that camera calibration up so that it can um, test the, the lighting on the screen. So now let's hit, you hit calibrate, and then once you get the, the screen itself on the, the app, you adjust that to where all four corners of the TV screen are up on the, the thing, and then you hit auto calibrate. It'll give you the green screen, and then you make sure that the box is on that, that set of four dots right there. And then it'll go through the calibration process. And once the green screen goes away, it will show you the box on the camera. So, okay. So now there is a purple line around the actual screen portion of what's up there on the television. So now that's calibrated to where you're ready to go. So now go back and confirm that the gun is unloaded. And then it'll give you the the calibration there to, to check the thing, and that's getting ready for you to shoot. What I'm using for this particular exercise is the CERT pistol. If you don't have a CERT pistol and you would like to get one, then you can also use our discount code to get you a CERT pistol as well. So it has not shown the warning message there. Okay, so let's get ready to shoot. Okay, so it, it takes you through the different stages and you can just keep going through the stages. So it, it tells you there what, what the feedback is. So let's show you what a different one looks like. Um, so let's go back here and we'll, instead of Fluffy's Revenge, let's say you want to just do some plinking on some steel targets. So let's do the USPSA uh, triangle. So we'll start that. Okay, it's gonna, it'll put the targets that you're supposed to be shooting up in the front here, those in the back you don't actually shoot at. Okay. It gives you this safety check on before you start every thing just to, to make sure that you don't have anything in your gun.
Okay, it's not picking up the laser hits there. So let's calibrate the laser. Okay, go back to train. Okay, so the laser's off just a hair on this one for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's saying that I'm hitting left of where I'm actually hitting. Okay, let's try a different laser. Okay, for that one, for some reason, it's it's wanting to go left. The gun that I switched to on that last one is my SIG P320. And here's the magazine and the, the round that goes in the chamber. I checked it right before I started shooting. I've got my laser cartridge in here from Strikeman. So that's what I've got in the gun right now. Like I was showing you earlier, there's the offset on here that if your point of impact is not hitting exactly where it's supposed to be, it, you can adjust that. That's one way to adjust it. And then it may be, depending on how your screen and everything is adjusted and how the camera picks up everything, there's certain limitations that are kind of inherent to this thing with the camera being able to pick up the laser, whether there's a reflective coating on the television screen that would keep light from being picked up. There, there's several different variables that go into it, but they've got a troubleshooting section that if you're having trouble with the laser not uh, registering or it not registering where it's supposed to, then it walks you through the different steps that you need to be able to get everything back to where it uh, is supposed to be at. So that's the quick start. You can go through and use all the preset programs that you want on there, but it's also got a stage builder where you can go in and you've got the same settings at the, the top of it here. And then you can go through and pick what your background is so these are the different backgrounds that you can get. You can get Yellowstone, Monument Valley, a warehouse, concrete hall, the firing range, and then four different solid colors. So we were just looking at the firing range there. So let's do Monument Valley. So you're gonna have the big desert scene there. And then you can change the, the prep time in between stages you can change your target exposure time. So to get you more time on target, you can increase that. You can again pick which sounds you want here. Uh, you can run it just like a, one of the competitions where they'll, they'll tell you to load and make ready, shooter ready, and give you all those different things as you're going through there. Then you can pick your, all your targets that you want. Uh, for target one, you can set it up to whatever you you want to have here so you can go through all these different targets on here there's a bunch of them that you can pick from um, so we'll just leave that one as the steel target and then you pick your your distance the, the target height the distance that you want it at and whether you want it to the left or right and then 
if you want it to always show or and then you can you can have it show a percentage of the time all the time and then when the laser hits it is it supposed to do anything stop moving disappear so you got options there the target can be moving or it can be static and then you can pick your next target so we'll pick a um, go back to another steel torso there and we'll have it one yard to the left and distance let's make that 20 yards Type target three is still torso is it 25 yards two yards to the left uh, we'll see if that's going to work it may not get in the so. and you can hide or delete or use as many of these targets as you want so let's just see what it's going to throw up here when it comes up I haven't been having to calibrate it every time but um, it just I think when I'm switching it in between guns it makes it a little bit of difference Okay, so we'll go back to training mode. Yep. Where is the dot hitting? Okay, it's still putting the offset on my thing, so let's Okay, that was the wrong direction. Hold it a little bit. The further back target is a little bit harder to hit. Okay, so it's a little easier to stay on target with the CERT pistol because I'm not having to rack the slide every time.
Okay, so you get the idea of how this works, and when you hit the pause button during the middle of the stage, it just it lets the stage continue to run out for the 30 seconds, but it'll just bring it up to this one. Now, it, instead of it going automatically to the next one, you have to hit continue for it to start back over. So there's a lot of good training options on the dryfireonline.com. Uh, from what I've used it, it really looks like a really nice, training system from the other ones that I've tried out and we've done videos on with the, the Strikeman, the, the Mantis X, those different systems. This one works really well. Uh, it's got a lot more options as far as targets for you to be able to use. The technological issue may be a problem for some people as far as getting the, the laser, depending on the, your, the equipment that you have, is not anything really that is dry fire online's fault per se, because it's a limitation of the equipment that you may have yourself. It's compatible with um, any smartphone, the Android or Apple operating systems. You can also use tablets uh, to run it on. You can run it on the laptop, computers. Uh, as far as the screen that you use in the back, the bigger the television you have, the better off it's going to be because you can get more of the targets on there, just like you saw what happened when I wasn't able to get all the targets on there. It didn't pick up the shots correctly. As far as the lasers and everything that you go with, it says it will work with any laser cartridge out there. So any of your, the Sightmark, the Strikeman, all the different lasers that are out there, a red or green laser, it will work with either one of them. And again, the laser calibration you can do and it will help you pick up those. If it's not picking up properly, you can go back through and do a calibration on it to help pick up the laser like I had to do during the, the filming there. Of course, it's this type of system is really only going to work with a semi-auto pistol, whether it be a, a double action, single action pistol or a striker fired. Be hard to do it with a revolver unless you want to spend the money and get a laser cartridge for each one of the chambers uh, of the revolver. You could do that if you want to, but it's going to be a, a lot more money involved to be able to do it this type of training with a revolver. But any semi-auto that you can uh, fit the laser into will work, or guns like the CERT pistols, any of those, the different models that they have of those will work great uh, with this system. And there's other laser pistols, uh, just dedicated later laser pistols that are out there that it will work with as well. But if you're trying to use your own gun and train with that, then some type of laser cartridge in the chamber is going to be what you want to use for that. But uh, the system itself, I really like the way everything is set up. It's got a lot of great targets on there. I've just barely scratched the surface of the different targets that uh, we, gone, we went through during the video. There's a bunch more out there. And so it's going to give you a lot of variation for your training. If you do some of the competitions, it's got those type targets up there so you can train for that type competition using this system. So overall, I really like the system. There's a, a couple of technical things that you may have to work through based on the equipment that you have. But again, that's not anything that goes back against dry fire online, but the system itself works really well. I really like the system. So if you're looking for a good training system, this one will be a good option for you. It does have the subscription if you want to subscribe to it, the three different levels there, or you can use the free version online. You just don't get the feedback like you do with the subscription and getting the, the camera app. Uh, so I would recommend doing one of the subscription levels. 
you can start at the highest and then if you see that you you don't want it you can always drop it during the free trial and it doesn't cost you anything to try it out but i would at least get on there and try this thing because it is it is a good system i would recommend that you try it and check out doublelegalgunworks.com for more information like and subscribe down at the bottom and we'll talk to you later thanks bye